would just love to read you a book. It's called The Big Orange Splot, and it's my favorite book. The Big Orange Splot. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. And see, all the houses are the same. He liked it that way. So did everyone else on Mr. Plumbing Street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then, one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbing's house. He was carrying a big, bright or can of big, bright orange paint. No one knows why. And he dropped the can, and no one knows why right on Mr. Plumbeam's house. Oh my. Look at that. It made a big orange splot. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbeam's house. Oh, too bad, said Mr. Plumbeam. E everyone said, Mr. Plumbeam will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbeam. But he didn't paint his house right away. No. He looked at the big orange splot for a long time. Then he went about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange splot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbing, we wish you would get around to painting your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbing. There he is. He got some blue paint and some white paint. And he got, and that night he got busy. He painted at night because it was cooler. We know how that is around here. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue, the walls were white, and the big orange splot was still there. Then he got some more paint. He got some red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same. But Mr. Plumbeam's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. It was like an explosion. Look at Mr. Plumbeam's house. Wow, is that not something? There was a big orange splot, and there were little orange splots. There were stripes. There are pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Mr. Plumbing, Mr. Plumbing has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stack, and dropped his stopper. They all went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plumbing brought a carpenter's tools. That night, he built a tower on top of the roof and he painted a clock on the tower. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, is that something? The next day, the people said, Plump lost his marbles and flipped his staff. Pretend not to notice. Mm, how could you not notice? That very night, Mr. Plumbing got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, bow bombs, th uh, thorn bushes, onions, and fragapani. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. When the other people came out of their houses and they saw Mr. Plumbing swinging on a hammock under between two palm trees, they, uh, they saw an alligator lying in the grass. Mr. Plumbing was drinking lemonade. He was having a wonderful time in his hammock. And there he is. He is having so much fun in his hammock. Mr. Plumbing has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Plumbing, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams, said Mr. Plumbean. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumbean to go and talk to him. 
Tell him that we all liked it before he changed his house. Tell him that his house is, has to be the same as ours so we can have a neat street. The man went to see Mr. Plumbing that evening. They sat under the palm tree drinking lemonade and talking all night long. And they just sat there and talked and talked. Early the next morning, the man went out to get some lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came back out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to the house of Mr. Plumbean. And there's Mr. Plumbean in his ship. What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be, and it looks like my dreams, said the man, who always loved ships. It's, he's just like Plumbeam, the people shout. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then one day they went to see Mr. Plumbeam late at night. They would sit under the palm tree and drink lemonade and talk with him about their dreams and and when e whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbeam the very next day that person would set up about changing his own house to fit his dreams. One by one Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plumbeam and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and it looks like our dreams. So what is your dream? I sure hope you enjoyed the book. This is my favorite book. Have a wonderful day and be sure you stay safe.